highly appreciate tangible progress of the implementation of the revised implementation of the vision statement on ASEAN-Japan friendship and cooperation, share vision, share identity, and share futures. Excellencies, Excellency, Madam, ladies and gentlemen, with the fortitude of ASEAN-Japan relation, we will open next year's a new golden jubilee with the holding of the 50th ASEAN-Japan commemorative summit and the ASEAN-Japan friendship organized in Tokyo. For sure that we will jointly announce the new vision to continue our sincere partnership. Finally, I firmly believe that this submit today will provide an active and productive discussion a good opportunity for us to review the existing cooperation and set future direction to elevate our partnership to a greater new height. Next, I would like to give the floor to Excellency Kishida to deliver opening remarks. Thank you very much, Prime Minister Hun Sen. Once again, I express my gratitude to Prime Minister Hun Sen and the government of Cambodia. It is a great pleasure to attend the Japan ASEAN Summit in person. Last year, I suggested that I wish to invite you all to Japan in 2023 at the 50th anniversary of ASEAN Japan Friendship and a cooperation and received your kind support. Next year, in addition to the regular ASEAN Japan Summit meeting, I wish to decide to hold a commemorative summit meeting in Tokyo somewhere around December. I have made my view clear already in the past that when I contemplate the future of Asia, the relationship of Japan and ASEAN is what I emphasize the most. At the Shangri-La Dialogue in June, I announced the Kishida vision for peace and said I would like to work hand in hand with the leaders of ASEAN countries to deepen discussions on ways to ensure peace and prosperity in the region. Today is exactly such an opportunity, and I wish to listen carefully to the views and matters of interest of each country to connect them to next year's 50th anniversary. With that perspective in mind, I would first like to discuss two points. Firstly, regarding post-COVID-19 economic recovery. Russia's aggression of Ukraine has induced spikes in energy and food prices, which is also a cause of concern. Japan supports the ASEAN Comprehensive Recovery Framework, and in order to contribute to the economic recovery of each country, has provided a total of 295 billion yen of financial assistance loans. There are widening concerns over opaque and unfair development assistance, but Japan will continue to support sustainable growth. For sustainable growth, we will continue our endeavors on people-to-people -people exchanges for the future, in particular the revitalization of youth exchanges, and furthermore, we will continue our support for the flagship Japan ASEAN Cooperation Project in Public Health, which is the ASEAN Center for Public Health Emergencies and Emerging Diseases, and to send Japanese experts soon. Secondly, 
the maintenance and reinforcement of a free and open international order. Japan has supported the ASEAN unity and centrality and has expressed support for the AOIP that shares fundamental commonalities with the free and open Indo-Pacific ahead of others. Since our joint statement of 2020, concrete cooperation project has risen to a total of 89. A report on the steady progress has been issued this year as well. These endeavors by Japan are thankfully appreciated as pump primers to encourage other countries to cooperate with AOIP. As we approach the 50th commemoration next year, our cooperation in extensive areas such as maritime cooperation, including maritime traffic safety, support for connectivity, including investment in quality infrastructure and others, health, including universal health coverage and others, climate change, disaster risk reduction, supply chains, reinforcement, the use of digital technologies, including smart cities activities, or reinforcement of food security will uh, be strengthened. Furthermore, with the aim to realize decarbonization and energy transition that ensure both energy security and sustainable growth by leveraging our expertise and experiences as much as possible, we wish to realize the ASEA zero emission community through various measures such as financing, support, and technical uh, cooperation. Thank you. เอ้ยอัดลืออัดลืออัดลืออัดลืออัดลืออัดลืออัดลืออัดลืออัดลืออัดลืออัดลืออัดลืออัดลืออัดลืออัดลืออัดลืออัดลืออัดลืออัดล